Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to my life on a budget. Y'all, today is Friday. It is 5 10 p.m. It is no, I'm sorry, November, September the 13th. Ooh, Friday the 13th. Ooh, okay. Well, anyways, we are going to be setting up our goals page as well as the budget, okay, for the month of September. Um, your girl is feeling pretty good already, but we will discuss that and what's been going on and what is going on and all of that. Ooh, la, la, okay? Um, if you want to go ahead and set up uh, September's budget with your girl, find out what stuff we got going on, what our plans are for this month then stay tuned okay so boom y'all y'all stay tuned and clearly that means you want to go ahead and set things up with your gut okay first things first let's get the pleasantries out the way y'all already know how that goes Hey, hi, hey, welcome back to any and all of my returning budget base. I'm so glad y'all decided to come back and chill with your girl. Y'all already know it is love, love, love when it comes to you guys, okay? And if you are new around here, then hey, y'all, hey, welcome, welcome, and welcome. If you uh, enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit that like button for me, y'all. Hit the like button. It definitely does help my channel. Budget base, as soon as you get on the video, please just hit the like button for me. It definitely is greatly greatly appreciate okay but if you are new around here not only hit that like button but also hit the subscribe button hello i would love to have you guys come and join the budget base okay so look y'all like i said today is friday y'all i am super happy today i'm actually feeling really good today um i Work from home on Fridays. Thank God for that. We work from home on Fridays. I'm super duper enjoying that. So as soon as I get off, I can just start doing exactly what I want to do. Um, my plan today is to do a bunch of cleaning up. I want to clean up between today and tomorrow. I actually want to finish washing clothes by tomorrow, hopefully no later than Sunday. And then I also want to um, clean my downstairs area, clean my room clean my master bedroom as well as our guest bedroom a uh, bathroom as well master bedroom master bathroom guest bathroom and then i already cleaned up my um office today during lunch okay so yes 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 here's the toast here's a cocktail so toast to anybody who is having a little cocktail grab your cocktails and all that good stuff baby it is friday man as soon as i get through with these videos I will be turning my music on because y'all already know when the music come on, it's time to clean up. Amen. It's time to clean up. That's how you used to get woke up on Saturdays, baby. It's happening today. I'm going to cut that music on. I'm going to give me some little music going to get my little momentum going, baby. And we, we're not going to play with these. With this cleaning up, I am two weeks overdue and your girl wants to get it done, okay? So, I'm going to have a little cocktail. I'm going to have a little music. And, baby, that's what we're going to get done, amen? I also have my goals, okay? So, not only are we going to be setting up our budget for September, we're going to also be setting up our goals, okay? I think I might do my goals first and then we can chit-chat a bit about... Um, we can chit-chat a bit about... What is going on with our, um, what's going on with our bills for the month of September, what's changing, what we're trying to do, how we're looking, all of that good jazz is going to happen, um, in this particular video. Okay. So let me pull that out. I have my, like I said, my budget for the month of September. We already have everything written down. We'll converse about that. I do have the letters that I'm going to be using. These are just some letters that I got y'all from Recollections, Old School, Hobby Lobby probably. Um, I have the paper that I'm going to write the goals on. And then we've actually already written the goals for this month. So we're going to go right here to our September goals. And I did find my uh, paper clip, y'all. Remember I was missing my paper clip, baby. Right, I didn't know where my paper clip was, baby. I thought somebody here stole it. Nah, ain't nobody stealing because there's one nobody here but me. <laughs> I just didn't know where it was, y'all. I just did not know where it was. Okay, so here are my goals for the month of September. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to... Hold on, y'all. 
I'm gonna grab this book out too, cause I'm gonna need a, a word for September. So we're gonna grab out our numbers and days uh, book too from the paper the paper studio. I'm trying to decide how I'm I'm gonna do um, if I should just like say my stuff first, like go over with y'all and then chit chat and then you know go through everything while I'm writing it down, or what I should do, y'all. Or should I just write it down, each one, and then talk to you about it or whatever the case might be. Now, the other thing I know that for a fact that I need to do, I'm going to pull out these pens right here. I'm going to use those. I was going to use my markers, but I changed my mind, y'all. I've been really enjoying these pens right here. I love those pens. I low-key want to take them to work, but then I don't want to have all of those pens at work, y'all. I don't want to have all those pens at work. Okay, so before we start on September, y'all, let's talk about the month of August, okay? Let's talk about the goals for that we set for the month of August, and then how did we come up with those goals? I mean, how did we fare with those goals? Did we do okay? What the situation was with goals? Now, um... The first goal I said was to get on some type of recording and editing schedule. I don't feel like I'm on a recording and editing schedule, you guys, but it would really help me out if I was. <laughs> right now, I'm just kind of recording and editing where I can. Um, and if I come home on time, I record. If I come home early, I record. And then on the weekends, I try to record and edit and all that stuff. So, but I feel like it'll it'll help me much better if I could just get on a schedule for that. Honestly, that's that's just kind of how I feel about that. If I could get on an actual schedule, I feel like it would really help me out. Okay, so we're gonna work on that. Okay, so number two says start making payments on the pledge at church. I actually have not started making my payments on the pledge at church yet. Um, I wanted to start in the month of August, but I didn't. Um, it was so many other things that I was doing, and low key, I need to really get on that, y'all, because yeah, I want to do that before the, the the year is over. Now, drink my water, y'all. Already know I'm forever circling drink my water because. Your girl need to just drink her water. There's just no other way to put that, okay? Um, journaling as well. I feel like I fell off on my journaling. And I need to make time for that. Whether it's early in the morning. Whether it's just before I start anything at my desk. Whether it's as soon as I get back from my desk. And before I start working. I need to figure out a time to just take 15 to 30 minutes to journal. Um, and then also with that being said, it's a lot because I don't carry my journal. I mean, I don't carry my journal with me and I don't carry my planner with me at work. So I feel like it is a lot to carry everything because the stuff be so heavy. Even when I'm catching up, y'all, I be like, I, I be just tired. You know what I'm saying? Like it be so heavy on me and I just really don't be feeling like carrying all that stuff if I don't have to. So I really need to like get on some sort of a schedule so that that way, you know, I I'm doing the stuff that I want to do. If that makes sense, right? Okay. Then, um, let me see. Continue getting on track of bills. I'm going to check that. I've been doing really good with trying to get on track with my bills. Uh, we're definitely in a catch-up phase. Um, but like I told you guys, my main thing to catch up is going to be is our, is our mortgage. And so, that's what we've actively, actively been working on. It's, of course, we've been paying the other bills too and trying to catch up on those. But my main concern um, has always and will always be uh, that mortgage. Okay. So, we are, that's, I'm going to check that. Okay, number six, start working on some possible work vlogs. I'm going to check that as well. I actually have one, two, three, at least three, three, no, four. I actually have about four work videos um, with you guys where I'm either getting ready for work or uh, I'm at work. Um, or maybe it's like a weekend vlog. So I do have some of those things coming out. They definitely will be coming out soon. So definitely stay on the lookout for those things, you guys. Okay. Because um, I'm going to just be sprinkling them in with the videos that I'm already doing. And that's just how that's going to be. Okay. Amen. Okay. Now, let's talk about what we're going to be doing for the month of September. Y'all, now I did pull this out because I wanted to use, I need to find the month, find me a September, 
Yeah, see, they don't have a lot of them. So what I'm going to do, they these are mostly like the days of the week and they don't have a lot. So I'm gonna, just going to use this one that, right here. Okay. I've already used the other one somewhere else, but it's fine. We're going to use it. Anyway, I hope this video finds everybody doing well. Everybody leave me something down up in the comment and let me know how you're feeling. How is everybody feeling um, on this, on this, whatever day that you watch the video? It's, it's Friday for me. So um, I'm actually feeling pretty good, you guys. I, I had a really good day today. Like I said, um, I'm able to work from home on Fridays. So that right there is a blessing within itself because... Y'all, I'm so used to working from home that it's not even funny. But I'm thankful to the Lord that I'm at work. So, you know, if I got to go to work, y'all, I got to get up and I got to go to work. But I do not like that traffic. That traffic just going literally 14 miles is crazy. 15 miles, whatever it is. It's not far enough for me to be, you know, in so much traffic, I feel like. I'm in traffic going and coming, y'all. I hate it. When I tell you hate it, literally, I hate it, y'all. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And I hate it, okay? Yeah, we have enough. I was just making sure I had enough of the uh, orange because I'm going to use orange letters for what I have going on. But anyway, yeah, so we're in the middle of just, I mean, I've been kind of busy at work. I was on a conference call, not a conference call, a, a Teams meeting for about two and a half hours today lord jesus i had to talk to one person and then got off the phone with that got off the well, i had talked to two people at one time and then got off the phone with that those that one person and then ended up getting on on the phone with one of the persons from the three that we, we were talking at first and then talked to her a whole another hour so it was just like oh my lord yes but i mean it is what it is and y'all gotta remember like my supervisor or boss or whatever she is manager or whatever they call a girl is not in Houston. She is not in Texas. She's in ATL. So that is the other situation. And then too, I'm in the middle of getting ready for next week. We have our CFO that's coming in as well. So I am dealing with that. And then last week we had two guests uh, that came in. So I, my office has been really busy. And when these people are coming in, baby, they trying to go to eat and they trying to go to happy hour. Okay. And so I have been setting that up. So next week we have um, one happy hour. And then the week following, it's like we're going to have something going on for each, each something going on one day out of the week, at least for the next uh, week. I mean, for the next month, for, you know, finishing out October. So we had something last week. We're having something this, this coming up week. We had something this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We had something... Um, we're going to have one thing next week and we have another thing coming up next the week after that. And then that final week in September, we're going to have our um, September um, birthday bash or whatever that we're going to have. We're going to do like a taco bar. So your girl has been so busy, y'all. I have been so busy, but I am not mad at it. I have really been enjoying my new job, y'all. I really have been enjoying my new job. I really am thankful for my new job. Um, I have really had a good time. Like I like I told you guys, I feel like the Lord really specifically made this job for me. Because, baby, all this stuff that I do is things that I really like doing. I really, really, really like doing it. Yeah, so I told you guys I'm going to be using my Pentel Intergel RTX pens. They're just so vivid and so smooth, y'all. I have I am in love with these pens. I don't get to use them as much as possible, but I've been trying to, you know, bring my stuff out because I feel like I kind of gravitate to the same stuff. But these pens are so pretty. All right, let's see what I'm going to do. Y'all already know I always gravitate gravitate to like a pink or a, bl or a blue <laughs> Um, so we're not going to do that or we're not going to do a purple. So let's do this like blackish, um, like a blackish gray or something. And we'll use that. All right. So number one says, try to get on track and caught up with more. Okay. So we could talk about that. Um, that's just what it is. 
try to get on track and count up. I forgot to write the word track. Try to get on track and count up with the mortgage. I definitely am feeling that. I am so, that's another reason why I'm super duper happy as well too, because I am officially, as of today, you guys, today is the 13th. I am officially back on track with my mortgage. I have called all the way up. The only thing that I have to do now is pay um, our September mortgage, which is actually due on the 15th, but we're going to have to pay that bill on when we get paid again, which will be the, um, the last day of the month. We will be officially caught up, and then when we get to our October uh, mortgage, that October mortgage is going to be on time. Okay, that October mortgage is gonna be on time. So I just wanna give a nail kick and everything like that. But let's just take a moment for the Lord, baby, for giving us, catching us back up, baby, so that we can think about what we wanna think about, baby, and do the things that we want to do. Um, and before that, we have to make sure that our past bills are caught up. And I just feel so excited about that because I have so much planned and so many things that we have coming up, and I just don't wanna be worried about being behind on my bills, nor do I want to go out and try to quote unquote enjoy myself. How you gonna enjoy yourself when you owe bills? Duh, that's why I haven't went nowhere. Hello, hello. So, um, yeah, that's the situation on that. So, number two says try to plan out video, try to plan out and schedule videos. For the channel, okay? So I said try to plan out and schedule videos for the channel. That, again, goes without saying. I need to do that. Um, remember, I told you that um, we... I feel like that if I, if I get on a schedule just to kind of know when I'm going to do what... Or just kind of plan what day I'm going to do it. Then I feel like it will help me out because I can get more stuff done. I also feel like I need to utilize my Saturdays when I'm trying to um, like film especially. And then I can kind of at least uh, do the editing throughout the week. You know what I'm saying? But if I have a set day to like film, that would be perfect. Or set days, you know what I'm saying? Like I would like to film on like Sundays would be great because it's a new, it's a good restart to my week. But then I say that and I'm really, really busy on Sundays. And that's the reason why I kind of push it to Saturdays because um, on Sundays we go to church. Sometimes we go to visit mama and that takes time that I have to come back home and either I have to cook or either I have to, you know, they have to eat or either I have to start prepping for the meals for the, for the new week. So that's the other thing too. So, yeah. Um, so number three is going to tell me to continue meal prepping and meal planning. I love that because I am in love with our meal planning and prepping. It definitely has been saving us a lot of money um, back and forth as, uh, like to go out to eat. Um, I, you know, do want to still go out to eat. You know, I still, I'm not going to act like I don't want to go out to eat. I love me an old nasty piece of chicken. Y'all already know how that goes. But I feel like if I have the food here already, it definitely allows me to go ahead and eat that first. You know, before I'm going out to go spend the money. Because like even today, y'all, when I was, I was at home today, right? And um, I wanted to eat but then we were out of like the food that I had cooked but I did have some boiled eggs so in my mind I was like okay am I gonna go out to go get something because right now it would have been a perfect time for me to be like okay no I'm gonna go get French cheese but I didn't even want to leave so I was like no I'm gonna eat these boiled eggs so I ended up eating four boiled eggs for my lunch today and it filled me up and I ain't mad at it I'm still full right now honey mm -hmm. so toast to that hello Okay, so number four says start making pledge payment for church. Yes. Yes, I did set a pledge. My Like I said, we're doing a pledge at church. And I did set a pledge uh, up for that, my husband and I. And we do want to honor it. They want us to start getting them in if we can. But they have we have until the end of the year. We pledge to give it to, to them before the end of the year. And I definitely would like to start working on that as well. That way I can get that out of the way. 
and then just straight up focus on my tithe and off offering. You know what I mean? All right, so number five says water. And I just put drink more just because of the fact of, girl, you know you need to drink my water. Girl, it is what it is, okay? It is what it is. I'm not going to worry about it, okay? All right, so then let's go on to number six. Okay, now, so number six is saying journal, which we already conversed about that and the fact that I need the journal. So, yeah. Okay. Number seven. Number seven, we are going to put continue catching up on bills, but mortgage is my first priority. Yes, 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 y'all. But again, like I said, as of today, I'm caught up. Ah. Okay, I literally am no more months behind, y'all. I just need to pay for this month. I am so excited about that, y'all. I am so excited about the end. You know what, too? Um... Hold on. Okay, yeah, so y'all know I can't write this time. So basically, number seven, mortgage is my first priority. That is a fact, you guys. The mortgage is my first priority, and I'm super excited about that because, you know, I, the one of the things I'm really thankful to the Lord about is that even though I you know, was out of work or whatever the case may be, the Lord never made it to where our bills were like putting us in a point to where we were going to have a problem or lose our, lose something, get something cop cut off, like things of that nature. Like I just like that right there within itself is a blessing you guys, because you know, the Lord, it just goes to show you how good the Lord is and that the Lord basically don't play by me. I really appreciate the Lord and I really am thankful, which is another reason why I am trying to make it my business to make sure that I'm doing my tithe and my offering too, because it's like, you know, the Lord is the reason why you have these things and we don't want to forget about that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you get all caught up in what you got to do. What's this? What's that? What's this? What's that? But you clearly see that the Lord been making a way. You know what I'm saying? So my 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 thought process is you need to put your trust in the Lord to know what you the thing that you want to do. You know what what's T what you got going on. You get what I'm saying? And then go from there. You know don't don't. You know, pay the Lord first. Don't don't give him no what's left over. You know what I'm saying? And I really, 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 really believe that. Um, the other thing is, too, I want to make sure that I'm working on my giving as far as my tithe and my offering as well. Because I had kind of slacked off on it, too. And I don't need to be slacking off on it. I don't need to be slacking off on that. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is the reason for the season. He is the reason why we are blessed. He's the reason why we have the things that we have. And I need to always remember that. Okay? And so whatever it is that I got to do to make sure that I'm doing my part as far as like giving the tithe, giving the offering, stuff like that, that's what I have to do. And that's just at a point to where I want to be at. And I probably should continue to make that a goal on my goals list. That should have been probably number one to make sure that I'm doing my tithes and my offerings. You know what I'm saying? I, I really, I really probably should have did that for, for number one. But that that's definitely something that needs to that needs to occur. You know, um, yeah. Yeah. But anyways, okay. So let's talk about, let's move on. Let's talk about our um, budget for the month of September. Okay, you guys. Now, last month, the month of August, now y'all know we was cutting up last month. We had, it was our birthday months. We really cut up in the month of August. So, yeah. Uh, but we're going to be significantly less than we, what, what we were before. Okay, now let's talk about it. Um, the mortgage, I already told you guys that this particular mortgage, we're going to, I'm going to put that we're going to be paying more money because I'm paying mortgages 
like I paid a mortgage just now and then I'm going to pay a mortgage in. So technically it's going to be two mortgages. Okay. So that's what we're going to allocate for here. So our budget for the month of September is going to be different because we're, we're, we're paying catch up. Okay. We're playing catch up. And so that's just what it is. And then on top of that fact, um, you know, we also pay some bills already because it's it's the 13th of the month. Okay, so that's just let's talk about it. So let's add together the 25, 25, 74 times two this month. We're, we're going to be planning to pay 51.48. So, yes, our budget is is, you know, it's already starting off with the drama but it is what it is because we're going to be paying a mortgage each month we paid it this month we paid it um i mean each check for the next until september i'm, I'm sorry until october so we paid july's uh i'm sorry we paid yeah we paid july's uh mortgage at the end of last month uh, we paid yeah july's mortgage at the end of last month Excuse me. We pay uh, August's mortgage just a few minutes ago, or just you know, last, uh, when we got paid on Thursday. So that has come out as well. And then we've also we're also going to be paying for um, September's mortgage. So that's what's going to get get us caught up. But we're going to have to pay that again with our next uh, checks that we're getting at the end of the month. Okay. And then when we get paid on the 15th again, or whatever those days are around there for the month of October, the October payment is not due until October the 15th. So we're going to set up an automatic payment for October the 15th so that that mortgage can come out. And then we'll just have a recurring, um, payment, we're going to put our mortgage back on auto pay because then it'll be uh, back caught up. Okay. And then we can kind of just work on whatever these extra fees that they've been charging us. But for the most part, y'all, we don't care nothing about no extra fees. We care about getting caught up on a mortgage and that's just what it is, child. And then we'll just kind of pay the, the, the fees off as we can as we're catching up on everything else. But once I'm not paying a mortgage every time we get paid, we're going to have a lot of extra money, y'all. And y'all will see because we are definitely doing savings challenges and it's just so much stuff that I have in store so please stay tuned okay anyways okay so last month we ended up paying um $847 for lights y'all the light bill was so freaking high okay I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pay the light bill I'm gonna think I'm gonna pay some on the light bill too but for this month let's just put $500 for the for the light bill y'all because I don't really know how much it is okay now for the gas bill, the gas bill shouldn't be much because the gas bill, we actually caught up with the gas bill. Let me go back real quick, y'all, and just make sure where we are with the gas bill. And then I can tell you guys what we got going on. Because some of our bills, we actually were not behind on and we're actually not behind on. Okay. So, yeah. So, we paid June and July's gas bill. Um in August okay so the only thing that we're we're uh, owing now is going to be August and and the month of September okay so what I'm going to do is going to put $70 for that because it should be two months and it shouldn't be a lot the last time we paid $76 uh, dollars, and so I feel like this month we should be okay so we're going to pay both of those gas bills today we're going to I mean this month we're going to be paying off the August and the September bill when we do our gas bill, okay? Then the water bill, I can tell you how much the water bill was because we've already paid it. My water bill was $105, water and trash. So we're going to put, actually it was $105 and change. So we're going to put 106 for that, okay? Then the cable bill, my cable bill, um, remember we have paid our July cable bill in the month of uh, August. And then so we're needing to pay the the august bill and the september bill y'all so what i ended up doing was i ended up paying half of the bill already with, with the check that we just got so i ended up paying 153 153.20 times two equals 306.40 that's how much money we're going to be paying so i'm going to put 307 here because that's how much we're going to be paying for this month okay then ADT. ADT, we had paid, we were catching up, so we ended up paying July and uh, June and July's 
uh, bill in the month of September. I mean, in the month of August, y'all. So this month we owe August and September. So I'm gonna put ninety eight dollars for that because it's too much. It's forty eight dollars a piece. So two months is the plan to pay for that. Okay. Then we have our cell phone bill, which we already paid our cell phone bill. Well, my baby already paid her cell part of her cell phone bill, which was the one forty three. Um, 81 so 14381 times 2 our cell phone bill again is going to be 287 okay so we're going to put 2 288 for our cell phone bill okay papa's cell phone bill we're going to put $100 for his his cell phone bill is actually on time the life insurance policy number one is on time. We're going to put $36 for it. These are on time because they're automatic payments. So um, life insurance number two is also on time. That's going to be $108. Papa's life insurance is on time. So that's $135.06 because that's the exact amount that it costs. Netflix is $17 and that is on time. Audible is also on time. So again, a lot of these bills are on time. Okay, the only time that we're going to be... Um, doubling them as if we're trying to catch up with them and these are not these are already caught up so six dollars and 48 cents for pandora okay now let's talk about our vehicle insurance vehicle insurance is on time as well 357 is what is going to be due for the month of september 357 triple a is also on time that's 17 dollars. now let's talk about the gas remember i told you guys that i am going to keep the gas at 500 for this month because we were using our um oh but you know what i think i used my personal account for that so i might not have to do 500 i think i used my personal account for some of that so let's do 450 I might get away with 400, but we're gonna be safe and sorry. So let's do 450 because remember, um, I went out of town in the at the end of August, and then it will be the gas will be rolling over into the month of September because I was gone for those days. Okay, now um, the groceries bill I end up paying 985 dollars for groceries, and we have given ourselves 700 dollars. I feel like let's give ourselves 700 dollars again. Because I'm not going to have to do a big grocery shop. I do have things I need to get for the house. But as far as like food or the, the meat goes, I am not going to have to do a big meat thing. Okay. The other thing is I also don't want to run out of meat either. Again, I want to kind of try to keep it restocked so that we're not having to buy so much at one time. Okay. Now out to eat. Let's talk about out to eat. What events do I have for the month of September? So far, I don't think I have anything um, but I ended up spending five hundred and sixty dollars last week. But it's because my last month because it was because it was our birthdays. I took my baby out to uh, a steakhouse for dinner, and we ended up using cash and not that. So let's go ahead and let's give ourselves one hundred and fifty dollars again. No, let's give ourselves two hundred dollars, y'all. Give ourselves two hundred dollars for out to eat. I feel like I should be okay. And then we're going to give 105 for King's Dog Food. I actually already bought King's Dog Food, but I ended up paying for it with my personal account. Okay. Now, as far as our lawn services, um, let's go ahead and give $100 for our lawn service. And then for my nails... Uh, I'm going to have to get my nails done. So last month we spent $321. I was giving myself $170 total, but let's see, can we do $150 a piece? Let's not, let's try not to go over $150 for my nails and feet. So let's give ourselves $300 for that. Um, I'm going to try to my, make my nails and my feet and my tip and everything no more than $300. Okay, so yeah. Um, miscellaneous. Let's let's raise our miscellaneous budget up, y'all. Um, let's raise the miscellaneous budget up to $300 this month. Because I have been buying stuff for miscellaneous and I just want to be safe and sorry, okay? My travel agent fee, that's going to round it to $90. Now, let's talk about my New York and Company. Now, remember New York and Company, um, I got a new bill for them, right? 
So I got a new bill for New York and Company, and it is. One twenty, hold on, y'all. Yeah, so it's one twenty seventy one, and then I'm gonna multiply that by three because I had to pay for it. Um, I paid for it with the. Let me see something, y'all. Just waste it. One, one second. I'm trying to see. Yeah, I see 829. And that I did pay for that with my last check. Okay. So what so we're gonna have to pay for that twice, y'all. So 120 times two, because I just paid for one, and then I'm gonna have another one that's gonna be due at the end of the month. Okay. So New York and Company, we're gonna be paying them 24142. My Mark Jacobs, we only owe Mark Jacobs twice. So, but I already paid one of them for the month of um, August, okay? I paid for it in my last check. It was for, yeah, I paid for it. It was um, $44.81, you guys. So, that was payment three of four. And then four of four, which is the one that we have here, that payment is going to be for um, $44.81 because it's my last payment. I'm actually done with this. I'm actually done with this one. And they've already taken it out. So, yeah, it's going to be $44.81. Okay. And then Fashion Nova, my final Fashion Nova payment, uh, we paid for that bill as well. But we paid for that on, for the 10th. Okay. So my Fashion Nova bill, the 4433, I allocated that bill in the last one. So we're going to put 4433 here because that was my last one that's paid. Bo both of these are paid for. Okay, they pay for already. All right, and then that's gonna be that on that. Um, lastly, I have my um, Capital One bills, my Capital One credit cards. So I at least want to pay a hundred dollars on each one of these. I may pay more, but at least we're gonna just at least um, set it for a hundred dollars, y'all, because I want to start trying to get those those people paid out too. Get that down as well, so that we can cut this interest off. Oh, yeah, I just cleaned my thing and I got like stuff on it. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's add what we're doing and then we'll let we'll see. y'all so I done added it up twice and it is telling me we're going to be spending $10,085.28 this month oh my god but I'm not mad because what it is is that, it's that mortgage so $10,085.28 minus um, $25.74 equal so technically we would be really spending $7,511 um, and 28 cents, but since we are in a heavy, heavy, heavy pay our mortgage back, that mortgage has raised it up because we have paid it twice this month, or we will be paying it twice this month, okay? So, um, that is what it is looking like this month. My God, my God, that is a lot, y'all. That is a lot, but I'm not mad at it. I mean, I got to do what I got to do. I am thankful to the Lord that, uh, you know, I, I have the means. I'm, you know, back at work or whatever the case may be. I'm also thankful to the Lord for, um, you know, having the means to be able to catch up. 
I mean, my Lord, we have been really struggling and trying to fight for our lives as far as trying to just stay on track or try to, you know, make sure that we can do what we can do, y'all. Because, you know, everybody can't get paid, baby. Everybody couldn't get paid, baby. Everybody can't get paid. Okay, when you robbing people to pay Paul, baby, everybody cannot get paid. That's just what it is, baby. This is a real channel over here, and you will get the real deal, Holyfield. Sometimes some things get hard, and when things get greater later, like they're getting now, baby, then we will make up for that. Amen. And you will see the blessings that will come pouring down, okay? But we're going to put our stuff back up in here. I am definitely in love with everything. I am so glad that I have everything all written out now because I have been brainstorming it and brainstorming it, but I'm glad that I have everything all written out. So if you made it to the end of this video, thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure that you hit the like button, okay? I'm definitely just have my channel. If you are new over here and you enjoyed the video, not only hit the like button, but also hit the subscribe button, okay? I would love to have you come and join the budget, babe. And until next time, you guys, my life on a budget. Bye!